So significant figures and calculations can be a bit confusing. Uh, the first thing, of course, is to learn how to identify the number of significant figures in a number. But I'm going to assume here that we've already gotten that down. And you'll notice that these examples, there are no pesky zeros. So in example A, we have a subtraction. And then we're taking the result of that subtraction and dividing by 5.3. We have subtracting and dividing. There are different rules for each of those operations. So we need to consider them separately. So first we're going to do this subtraction and find out what the result of that is. 568.99 minus 232.1. So the calculator gives me that result as 336.89. Now what I want to do is identify where's the last significant digit in that number. In other words, if that was my final answer, how would I round that? What's the rule for adding and subtracting? The fewest number of decimal places, right? So here we have two decimal places, here we have one decimal place. So this result has one decimal place is the last significant figure. When we take that number and divide by 5.3, don't round the 336, keep the whole thing. Now divide by 5.3 and see what the calculator says. Calculator says 63 point a whole bunch of stuff. 564150094. Doesn't hurt to write down all the digits. I have this number divided by that number. Now I'm going to use the rule for dividing. That's the fewest number of significant figures. So how many sig figs does this number have? It has four. We underlined the eight because that's the last significant figure. The nine is there to avoid rounding errors. We're not counting it as a significant figure. So here we have four sig figs divided by two sig figs. So two is the smallest. So this answer should only have two significant figures. That second significant figure is the three. So then when I round it, I'm going to say that my answer is 64. Any questions? It's the last order of operation that the goes Well, you have it's not just the last operation. You have to look at at each type of operation separately. Okay? We have to look at the subtraction and identify the number of significant figures here based on subtraction, and then we look at division. Okay? And then we listen to the train go by. Yes? So if you get a fractional amount of significant figures, you round up or down? I don't think you could get a fractional amount of significant figures. Yeah. No. Because here I've, you can't have. Oh, it's always what the division it's, is? Is it always No, level? it's the fewest number. Oh, so. The fewest. Yeah, so fewest. I, I, the way I said that was probably confusing. No. What I meant was I'm dividing a number with four sig figs yeah, yeah. by a number with two sig figs. So two, is the lower, so, so two is the smaller, and so that's what tells me that I can only have two sig figs in my answer. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Yeah, I didn't say that very clearly. Okay. Any other questions? Let's do this next example. Here we have two numbers that are multiplied, and then we're supposed to take that quantity and subtract 2.34. So again, we have mixed operations. There's a different rule for multiplying than there is for subtracting. And so we have to look at each operation separately and identify significant figures. So inside the parentheses, we have 3.14 times 2.4367. I'm going to write that number down because I need to look at it. 7.6, that's not a nice 6, 6, 5, 1, 2, 3, 
3, 8. The rule for multiplying is I look at how many sig figs in each of the number, numbers. So this first one has three significant figures, 3, 1, and 4. And this 2.4367 has five sig figs. So then you ask yourself, which is smaller, 3 or 5? Three. three is smaller. That means that this number can only have three significant figures. So if I was done here, I'd round it right there at the third digit and be done. But I still have an operation to do. Instead of dropping these digits and possibly introducing rounding errors, I'm going to leave them there. I'm underlying the last significant figure so that I know what to do when I do the subtraction. Now I'm going to subtract 2.34. So subtracting goes by decimal places. 2.34 has how many decimal places? Two. Two decimal places. This number with the last sig fig indicated has how many decimal places? Two. It has two decimal places of significant digits. The rest of it is just along for the ride. Which is smaller, two or two? That's a trick question. They're the same. So then my answer should have two decimal places. So let's do the math. And we're gonna close the door. So I'm gonna take that whole number I had, the 7.651238, and I'm gonna subtract 2.34. I'm going to write down the result and then I'm going to round it. So this gives me 5.311238. And I should have, based on the rules for subtracting, two decimal places. So then I round that to two decimal places and I report my answer as 5.31. Any questions? Yes. So the 7.651238, if that was only two sig figs and it was like 7.6, and the 6 being the last significant number, uh -huh. would that be only one decimal place thing when you subtracted it? Yeah. So let's, let's modify the problem a little bit. Um, I pulled these out of the homework, and I thought they'd be a little more interesting than they are. They, they're turning out to be kind of boring. So what if we had um, 3.1? times 2.4367. We're just going to change the problem a little bit and see what happens. iPad's acting up. So now when we do this multiplication, 3.1 times 2.4367, three, I'm getting a similar answer here but it's going to have a different number of significant figures. 55377. How many significant figures does this result have? Two. Because this number only has two significant figures, this one has five. The smaller number of significant figures limits the answer to two significant figures. So I'm going to underline the first decimal place because it's the second digit. The significant digits are the 7 and the 5. I'm not going to round yet. And then I'm going to subtract the 2.34. Write down what the calculator says. Minus 2.34. Calculator says 5.21377. Now I look for subtracting at number of decimal places. This has one decimal place now. This has two decimal places. One decimal place is smaller, and so my answer is limited to one decimal place. So I report this as 5.2. That makes sense? Any other questions? If you are not sure about this, please ask me questions until it makes sense. <laughs>